Solution of Physics Mathematics Fundamental on YouTube. Please, before we go into today's topic, do not forget to like, share, subscribe, click on the notification button and make your comments concerning my video. Thank you. Today, we are continuing trigonometry ratio part 2 and uh, this trigonometry ratio we are taking is on special angle, which is angle, I'm starting with angle 30 and angle 60 degree. If time permits, I'm going to do the other special trigonometry ratio, which I indicated in my other uh, video. You can refer to the other video to see other special uh, trigonometry ratio that I indicated. Thank you. Now, how do we develop trigonometry ratio of angle 30 and 60 degree? Like I told, I said in the other video, I made the definition concerning trigonometry ratio, which shows relationship between the angles uh, and size of a right angle triangle. Now. To develop trigonometry ratio of angle 30 and angle 60 degree, because in your exams you may have to make use of this trigonometry ratio to solve certain problems, especially in mathematics and physics. Now, for this particular one, we are going to consider equilateral triangle of side two units each, and the interior angle is angle 60, 60, and angle 60. Now. The next step is to divide this triangle into two equal parts, like I'm doing here. If I divide this place into two equal parts, the angle 60 will be divided into 30, 30, and this side 2 will be divided into 1, 1. So this side 2 that I have here remain as it is, but the height here is unknown. So the angle here, which is angle 60 degree, still remain as 60, and the angle here is angle 90 degree. If I take this portion of this triangle out, I'm going to have this triangle in this format here, like this, 60, H, 1, and 2. Now, to get the value for this H, we use what is called Pythagoras' theorem. According to Pythagoras' theorem, the square of the hypotenuse, hypotenuse is the longest side of a right angle triangle. When we square that hypotenuse, is the sum of the other sides of the right angle triangle, which is A square plus 1 square. So 2 squared will give us 4. If I take 1 to this other side, I have minus 1 is equal to A squared. 4 take away 1 will give us 3. So H will be square root of uh, 3. So I can rewrite this triangle in this format like this. The angle that I have here is 30 degree. So I have 30, 60, angle 90, 1. H now is root 3. And I have a uh, 2 there. So I can draw a table for the trigonometry ratio of angle 30 and uh, 60. So I have theta here for 30 and for 60. Then I have sine theta, cos theta, and then tan, tan theta. Now, we can fill up this table using this particular right angle triangle. Using Sokatua, I'm considering when theta is 30 degree here. Yeah? So using Sokatua, um, sine 30 is opposite. The opposite of 30 is 1 over hypotenuse. That's 1 all over 2. Cos 30 here yeah, is adjacent. Adjacent is the side that is not opposite to 30. So the adjacent is root 3 all over 2, root 3 all over 2, then tan 30, this 30 is opposite over adjacent, that's 1 all over root 3, we same thing as uh, root 3 all over 3. Now, for the 60 degree, if I consider this 60 degree, the sign is opposite over hypotenuse, that's root 3 over 2, root 3 all over 2, then cos 60, Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. That's 1 all over 2. And tan 60 is opposite over adjacent. That's root 3 all over 1, which is equal to root 3. So these are the value for the trigonometric ratio of angle 30 degree and 60 degree. Now let's solve a simple problem. We are given this problem. The first problem says find, find possible values, five possible values of angle theta degree that satisfy 
the following interval. Zero degree less or equal to theta degree less or equal to 360 degree. If sine theta is equal to minus root 3 all over 2. And then that's case A and B cos theta is equal to minus uh, root 2 divided by 2. So we are asked to find the value for theta if we are given this particular condition. Now, let's solve the problem here. The meaning of 0 degree less or equal to theta degree less or equal to 360 degree, I can show it on the number line. So if this place your 0 degree and this place a 360 degree, because of this equality sign, that means 0 degree will be included and angle 360 degree will be included. So the value of theta lies between this uh, uh, interval, between 0 and 360 degrees. So we want to find the value for case A when we are given sine theta to be minus root 3 divided by 2. I want us to take note of something. Um, if I draw this circle here, if I pick point P here, let's say P1, point N, P2 here, point P3 there, and then point uh, P4 there. You know very well that the value for Y here will be positive Y, and the value for X here will be positive X. For this particular point, if I draw a right angle triangle, the value for Y will be plus Y, and the value for X there will be minus X. If I draw this place here, the value for Y for this P3 will be minus Y, because it's in the negative side of the vertical axis. Then if I draw this triangle here, the height here will be negative y. So what am I trying to say is that if I have some angle theta here, theta there, uh, if I have theta here, for the fourth, fourth quadrant, we use what is called cast. I'm going to explain that in our next video. So what am I trying to say here is this. We have what is called cast due to the uh, the sign coordinates of the points P1, P2, P3, and P4. So that's why we develop cast. So take note of this. We normally read cast from C up like this, as in cast. So here, all the values of trigonometric ratio will be positive. Here, only sign positive. Here, only tan positive. Here, only cos positive. Now. Since we are given a value that is negative for root 3 all over 2, first and foremost, what is the trigonometric ratio that gives us root 3 over 2? If you look at the 60 degree, 30 degree triangle, I have a 1 and 2 there. Root 3 over 2 means opposite over hypotenuse. That's sine theta is equal to opposite. That's root 3 all over 2. And this our theta, the one that gave us will be 60 degree. So that means uh, the value of 60 degree that will be negative for this place, um, for the sign, we, the sign is positive here. The sign will be positive in the first quadrant, but the sign will be negative here and here. So that means for this root three all over two to be negative, the value of the angle we like in the third and the fourth quadrant. That is for sine. So, what I'm going to have for the two angles that we have here, it will lie in this place. So, the angle here will be uh, 180 degree plus theta degree. And in this case, our theta is 60 degree. So, the angle there will be 180 plus 60 degree. 180 plus 60 degree will give us a uh, 240 degree. So if you look at in your calculator, if you take sine 240 degree, it's going to give you minus root 3 all over 2. Now, if you look at the cast again, we are the sign is also negative, is in the fourth quadrant. So if I draw my circle here, the angle 
will be moved to the fourth quadrant. So the theta will be here in the fourth uh, quadrant. And then uh, this value of the fourth quadrant that I have here, this angle theta is the same thing as a uh, angle uh, 360 degree minus a uh, theta. And since the theta for the triangle is 60 degrees, so I have 360 minus uh, 60, which is a uh, 300 degree. So that means sine 300 degree it will give us minus root 3 all over 2. So that's for the case A. For the case B, where cos theta is equal to minus root 2 all over 2. Since if you look at the curse again here, cos theta is only positive in the fourth and the first quadrant. So that means the angle we are looking for will fall within the second and the third uh, quadrant. So the angle we are looking for will fall within this place. This angle theta. And this particular triangle that we form is, is going to be 180 degree minus a uh, theta. So then the other one for the angle we are looking for we fall in the third quadrant for the cos to be negative. So if you draw this to the third quadrant here, this is the angle we are referring to. And that angle is angle 180 plus theta, 180 degree plus a theta degree. Now, how do we get this value of theta? We look, of, we look for the uh, right angle triangle that will give us root 2 all over 2. If you look at the right angle triangle concerning uh, 45 degree, this is 1, 1, and this is a uh, root 2. So, cos 45 degree is opposite, no, it's adjacent over hypotenuse. That's 1 all over root 2. So if we write on a like this one over root two, it give us root two all over two. So that means the theta we are looking for here will be 45 degree. So the two angles we are referring to here will now be angle 180 minus uh, 45 degree. And 180 minus 45 will give us 135 degree. So that means Cos of 135 degree we goes minus root 2 all over 2 if you press your calculator. Then the second angle we are looking for is 180 plus uh, 45 degree. And 180 plus uh, 45 degree we goes uh, 225 uh, degree. So that means cos of 225 degree we goes minus root 2 all over 2. Thank you so much for watching. So my next video will be on the relative ratio for angle uh, 0 degree, 90 degree, 180 degree to 70 degree, and 360 degree, from which we can draw what is called the sinusoidal uh, curve. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.